Hi guys, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how you derive the reduction formula for cos to the power n of x dx using uh, by parts again. So after that, we're going to look at another example, a basic example, where we use the derived uh, reduction formula to evaluate the integral of cos, um, cos 3x. Again, all we want to see is, uh, these are integrals we can uh, evaluate using substitution. But does the use of a reduction formula, if it is known, provide the easier way of actually evaluating these integrals? So you see, like in the previous example, we sort of say that provided we know the reduction formula, it was very easy for us to, um, to get to the answer, for us to evaluate the integral. So let's begin. Well, to, to derive the reduction formula, we have to use by parts. So we have the expression, this is cos uh, to the power n of x dx. So it's the same thing, even if it were, let's say, cos, and then you have, um, let's say, n, and then you have ax. It's the same thing, of course, you guys uh, get how you differentiate or integrate when you have a constant there. Okay, so how do you evaluate it? Well, it starts with splitting this, just like before. So if you split the cos, what you're going to end up with is going to be n minus 1 of x. And the other term is just going to be cos x here, dx. Then again, we'll choose the part with uh, n minus 1 to be our u. So u becomes equals to cos n minus 1 of x. So that dv will be equals to everything else that is left, which is cos x, dx. Then you have to get what du is. So we differentiate uh, the derivative of this first. We'll bring that n minus 1 here. Then we'll reduce the power by 1, so this will be cos n minus 2 of x. Then we'll differentiate the um, what is inside, so which is cos x. So the derivative of cos x is going to be minus sine. So because of that minus, I'll shift this so that I can accommodate the minus at the beginning of the whole expression. Minus there. Then I have sine x here. So dx. Well, for dv, all I have to do is integrate. So the integral of v, dv is just going to be v. The integral of cos is going to be sine x. That's done. Now we can go on to perform the integral. So the integral of cos n of x dx, uh, we know cos n is the same as uh, that expression. So I don't have to write it like that. I can write it like this. So I need u and v. So my u is cos uh, n minus 1 of x, my v is sine x, then minus the integral of its v sine x, then du. du is a little bit longer, I'll move everything this side, reduce them a little bit. Okay, so my du comes with a minus, which makes this sign here a positive. Then apart from that, here we have n minus 1, then cos n minus 2 of x, then sine x, then dx. So the focus for a little bit is going to be uh, on this part here. So the first part is to the same, so just copy this part. Just copy the whole thing. Okay, that's done. So what we want to see here is, uh, for this part, first the n minus 1 can come out. So we have n minus 1 here. And then we have the integral of, this is sine, that is sine there. So we have sine squared of x. Then we have cos n minus 2 of x dx. Like before, we want to use the identity sine squared plus cos squared is equals to 1. Because that would tell us that sine squared of x is equals to 1 minus cos squared x. I want to write this in terms of cos so that I'll only have cos that side. So if I did that, the expression now becomes, let me just get this again. Okay, so our expression now becomes the integral of, so I have 1 minus cos squared of x, and then cos n minus 2 of x dx. 
after doing that we'll distribute what is um we'll distribute the cos n minus 2 there inside so if we distribute it we end up with uh, this is going to be cos n minus 2 of x then for the second part it's going to be cos squared multiplying cos n minus 2 we know that is just going to reduce to minus cos to the power n of x then dx so like before we we'll distribute this here and there then also distribute the dx here and here so if we did that what do we end up with we see that if we did that the first part so this is just the integral of this is going to be cos n minus 2 of x then minus again now this is dx first then minus n minus minus 1 then the integral of cos nx dx okay like before we observe that this part here cos the, the integral of cos n of x it's the same as um, the left hand side here so we try to group them and we observe that we end up with cos n of x dx then this becomes plus n minus 1 the integral of cos nx there dx then the right hand side will remain this part we just bring it here okay so for now look at what is happening here especially this part i'll distribute that or yeah i'll distribute it i'll expand it a little bit and observe that this is going to be the integral of cos nx dx then this is going to be plus n the integral of cos nx dx and then minus the integral of cos nx dx of course equals to the right hand side the right hand side hasn't changed then you have to see that this and this will subtract out leaving us with only this term on the left side so the left side simplifies to just be um, n the integral of cos n of x dx equals to the right hand side is two the same so we're literally done now so we'll just divide everything by n so that this becomes the integral of cos n of x dx this will now be one over n then we have cos n minus one of x sine x then plus n minus one over n then the integral of cos n minus two of x dx so this becomes the reduction formula for cos n of x okay now how do we use this let's look at a, a basic example again so for this example we have something basic again cos to the power 3 of x dx can we make it power 5 or something it, it will still work so here of course when we start it's the same thing we observe that here n is equals to 3 so when we perform the integral since n is 3 we come back to our reduction formula it's 1 over n first so that's 1 over 3 so this becomes 1 over 3 the next we have cos n minus 1 so n minus 1 that's 3 minus 1 that's 2 so that's cos to the power 2 of x then we have sine x following so just write the sine x the way it is then plus n minus 1 over 2 so that's 3 minus 1 over 3 so that is going to be plus 2 over 3 3 minus 1 over 3 then we have the integral that's the integral of what that's cos n minus 2 so that's cos 3 minus 2 so that's cos 3 minus 2 and 3 minus 2 that is just 1 so that's cos to the power 1 x then dx 
again we see that what we have here is a standard integral so now our integral reduces to 1 over 3 cos squared x sine x plus so when you integrate the integral of cos is sine it's going to be 2 over 3 then we have sine x here that was the last part so this is going to be plus c